doing what we asked them to do. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. I have been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow, and with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are, which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. Without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature. Only his effect on us. The only thing yelling gets us is a headache. Another headache. They know. But our situation, your situation, is complicated. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear. And the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure. What we, perhaps, must come to believe. I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course, and the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? Mother Giselle, I just don't see how what I believe matters. Lies or not, Corypheus is a real physical threat. We can't match that with hope alone. more than an enemy. It needs a cause. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it. Changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. 
There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. You. I don't know what to say. Say that you will not make me regret this. If you're not sure, why do it? Because I believe this is what was meant to be. That without you, there would be no Inquisition. What it means for the future, how you lead us, that is entirely up to you. I will lead us against Corypheus, and I will be an ambassador. I'm an elf standing for Thedas. The Inquisition is for all. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? Will you fight? Will we triumph? Your leader, your herald, your inquisitor! This was a surprise. After you return from the bogs, we discovered this man attacking. The building. With a... goat. Chief Movran the Under. He feels slighted by the killing of his Avar tribesmen, who repeatedly attacked you first. 
What should we do with him? You answered the death of your clan with a goat? <laughs> a courtroom? Unnecessary. You killed my idiot son. And I answered, as is my custom, by smacking your holdings with goat's blood. Don't look at me. No foul. You meant to murder Tevinters, but got feisty with your inquisition. A red-headed mother guarantees a brat. Do as you've earned, Inquisitor. My clan yields. My remaining boys have brains still in their heads. <laughs> I love this man. I love him. I banish you and your clan, with as many weapons as you can carry, to Tevinta. <laughs> My idiot boy got us something after all. <laughs> I like that literally every companion approve of this. He, this man, if I could keep him around and just, I don't know, have him as a companion every single day, I would absolutely do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... Do you ever sleep? If Corythia strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but... It's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Everyone has so much faith in my leadership. I hope I'm ready. You won't have to carry the Inquisition alone, although it must feel like. We needed a leader, and you have proven yourself. Thank you, Cullen. Our escape from Haven, it was close. I'm relieved that you, that so many, made it out. As am I. You stayed behind. You could have... I will not allow the events at Haven to happen again. You have my word. He's so cute! He's so cute! Why must he be so cute? He's gonna give me diabetes with all this cuteness. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. Cole warned us about Corypheus at Haven. He saved a lot of lives. And what will its help cost? How many lives will this demon later claim? In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But you claim Cole looks like a young man. Is it possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one, and yet he appears human in all respects. Cole... I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. Can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white pain. Everything burns. I can't. 
I can't. I'm going to. I'm dying. I I'm dead. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Cracked brown pain, dry, scraping, thirsty. Here. Thank you. It's all right. She won't remember me. You're using your powers as a spirit to help people. Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt, the helpless. There's someone. Hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. All right. Help him. It's all right. I want to stay. I love Cole. Poor Cole.